Hey guys, I'm trying to make something today uh, out of wood and an antler. Um, I had an antler piece. It was uh, pretty big. I'll show you here. Get out of the way, rocks. It was here, here, and there. Or it's flipped around actually. So just like that. So um, I chopped it with a uh, sawzall. Went all the way through, and. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make this into a walking stick or the top of a walking stick. got this nice straight piece of stick. I'm going to use this at the bottom. This will get into the ground pretty nice and the top is a nice handle. It's already a really nice walking stick, but I'm going to see if I can't make a nice handle for it. I was thinking originally uh, maybe just putting this at the top and that would be a nice, nice little handle. But as I've gone through it, I found out that that this would be sort of weird as far as uh, seeing, you know, it'd be sticking out on the side, as you can see. So that might be a little weird. It might make a nice handle for another uh, walking stick in the future. But as far as this one, I'm going to hollow this one out. I've already started to do it. Um, what I started to do was uh, I drew an outline with a highlighter. What I did was highlight, put the stick at the top or this side at the top and I just highlighted it and uh, made an approximate where how thick the wood was and I drilled down with the Dremel just going down, shining the sides out, so and I also have a, a, a flip knife and I've been going down and sort of just stabbing it a little bit, getting it out, as you see it's like this spongy material, it's pretty cool actually. It makes great, great dog bones, but this I'm going to make a little bit different. Let's see, she loves it. So, just, you know, really sort of gravel it out. The nice thing is that the outside is really sort of hard, as whereas the inside, I said, is like spongy, and it's real easy to Dremel. I can even show you that now. So I'll show you what. It Dremels out real easy. So yeah, within seconds it's, uh, it gets down pretty pretty easy. So I'm going to next just, you know, sort of stab this out a little bit more, clean it up, scrape the sides. It's really not the best knife to use it, but it's nice and long, so it gets down in there. I would use a drill, but I don't have any drill bits. I'm sort of limited on um, tools I have. So, the next part I'm going to do, she, she loves it, I'm going to uh, start shaving some of this off to make it fit uh, down easier in the, in the hole because it, it tapers as you go down. Actually, it sort of expands on here, but usually it'll, it'll get smaller, so I'm going to uh, taper it down with this bit also. It's not really finished, but I'm gonna have probably chop it in, uh, chop it down here, so that way uh, you have a nice grip down, more down here, versus uh, all the way up here. But it's good to chase my dog with, right? Huh? 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 <sighs> Oh, okay. It's good enough for now. Woo! Alright, so uh, this is all I got for now, and I'll let you know what I'm done with when I'm finished. Uh, 
Alright, I'm still making this walking stick. I just sanded some of the parts down, you know, just making it look a little bit smoother, nicer to the feel. I've gotten the handles down a little bit smaller, so uh, I hauled this out inside. It's pretty deep. I'm just going to cut it right here and then uh, see how it looks, but I just have this on top, so let's do it. See how it fits on. All right, right now I'm just gonna taper the sides just to match the. That way, when your eye follows the bottom, it's just gonna taper into the wood. It doesn't look that bad. Instead, of just dropping off into an edge and then right to the wood. So. Alright, now that I got it sanded, uh, starting to get the bottom sculpted and the top, I tapered that, makes it a nice, uh, makes your eye follow it rather than uh, come out and then chop off. I'm going to uh, finish up the top a little bit, there's that little bit of an edge here I'll finish off. And the last part was just to get all the grooves out. I want it to be nice and flat. So, what I'll probably do is just stick some probably glue in there or some hardener to harden up this sponge right here so it doesn't come out. All I gotta do is, I'll be, I'm not gonna sand it much more. I really like these um, grooves here and I'll be uh, staining it and then I'll put a clear coat of lacquer on it and it should look really good. The clear coat or anything shouldn't uh, expand the wood any, uh, as far as you trying to do anything. This top piece is pretty hard to get off, actually. It's just coming off pretty easy right now, but it's uh, pretty deep in there, so that's about how deep it is. It's about how deep I've drilled in, so, and it's the perfect length, so I'll just keep it here and then, uh, It's a really good fit if I can find the way it goes in. There we go. There we go. So, happy the way it came out. Uh, next, I'll show you when I'm lacquering it and doing the rest. Alright, time to do last coat. Alright, looks like you're done. Now leave it about another 24 hours to let it dry. Alright, this is what the walking stick looks like after it's all done. It's got a pretty thick coat of varnish on it. As you can see, it's pretty shiny. My favorite part is these uh, little patterns in it. So, just a All right. I really guess we're chasing my dog. So, I think it's gonna be good. Red rocks. Okay. Not sure if she likes it. I think she wants to eat it more than anything. <laughs> 